Okay, so this is from a, uh, I got a question from a student on, uh, they're currently using um, inner child work, and they wanted to know how that, um, how that relates to A Course in Miracles. Uh, uh, and, uh, okay, so inner child work, so, so you, you could say, I use the word belief system. Like a belief can be like a like an illness is a belief system. It's actually got layered. You could say there's a multiple beliefs underneath a, a single belief. Like a belief, I believe I've got a sore throat. So that might include the belief of sore throat, the belief in swollen lymph glands, the belief in um, reduced immunity. There might be all kinds of beliefs that are mixed in there. So they they comprise the thing. So you could say that the um, the inner child or the inner adult or the inner parent. Uh, are what you could, you, I mean, it's usually said the word archetype, or you could call them subpersonalities, or whatever you want to call them, but they're just a collection of beliefs. So they're just, um, they're just patterns within the collective uh, ego. They're patterns within the collective, uh, their, their belief systems, which which are within the collective ego, like um, my inner teenager or my inner ten year old, whatever it is. So, and they, uh, there's some of those belief systems are shared within the collective, and some of them will be quite individual. Like my inner teenager wants to eat ice cream, whatever it is. So it's like, um, uh, so there seems to be an identification with different aspects. So these are different belief systems or different archetypes within the ego. So um, now, how does that relate to A Course in Miracles? Well, A Course in Miracles is really on, um, you know, that would be a belief, you know, like my inner, my inner teenager wants ice cream, you know, um, so it'd be like, I cancel my belief in a, in a teenager, I cancel my belief, I need ice cream. So that would just delete the underpinnings of that inner teenager, for example, uh, or you just delete it until it no longer exists, until there's no duality, you know, because you have like, I have my inner teenager, my inner parent, I have my body. So these are all different you could say beliefs that can be cancelled out. So the course would just um, go through everything and just delete it uh, and take it on board that that's not the reality of what you are. However, I mean, all things, um, it depends on where the student is in their journey um, and how, where they are with their limiting beliefs and what, and what's the most appropriate tool to use. So sometimes, uh, going to the observer or using the Course of Miracles isn't appropriate. It seems to make less, just doesn't seem to be resonating. So it might be therapy or it might be inner child work and, uh, you know, like um, communicating with your inner child or forgiving your inner child or or treating it to ice cream or whatever it is. So th those things might seem to be um, beneficial and the Course of Miracles less beneficial. And that sometimes, it sometimes is more beneficial, depends where the student is. You know, like sometimes if you've got a strong atheist and just lump a course of miracles in on their lap, you know, they, 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 it's just not useful to them. They just can't, they're not, that's not at the stage at which they, it would be gobbledygook for them. So seeing a therapist might be, you know, uh, the thing to do. So, and then sometimes for some people, they can do both together. You know, they can be doing some inner therapy and they can be in a course and they can both work on different levels in deleting stuff. Um, so sometimes that's uh, that can seem better. Just do whatever it seems to be beneficial and giving relief. Um, sometimes some techniques don't seem to work. Sometimes sometimes they work in tandem with others, and sometimes just use them on their own.